to my channel so guys back to our class for those students who are preparing for jam out today so today question goes thus don't forget the rules of chemistry called that for every question you come across in your jam you should be able to tell the topic so the first this kind of question that i'll talk about increase across the period and decrease down a group you should know in the periodic so you know you're talking about periodic table and i would love to state the periodic law the modern period that states that the properties of elements are in periodic function of atomic number and the periodic trend accordingly we have the atomic radius we have the ionization energy we have the electron affinity we have the electronegativity we have the ionic radius and metallic character so guys jam 1999 question solve given that electronegativity increases across a period and decreases down a group in the periodic in which of the following compound will the molecules be held together by the strongest hydrogen bond this word hydrogen bond so when we talk about hydrogen bond hydrogen bond you need to understand the concept of what hydrogen bonding so for every hydrogen bonding it contains some certain elements the likes of nitrogen the likes of oxygen the likes of what sulfur and what fluorine so for every hydrogen bonding there the what there is a particular bond that exists we call it intermolecular force of what attraction or dipole dipole moment of a positive end to a dipole dipole moment of a negative end so we are not going there now so guys we are asked to look at the molecules which will be held together by the strongest hydrogen bond one thing you should note is that h of there is what hydrogen here nh3 ammonia there is what here hydrogen here ch4 methane there is what here hydrogen here and hcl chlorine chlorine is among the elements that fall under the electronegativity so under the words electronegativity but they can easily react it hydrogen yeah so guys we have h of we have nh3 we have ch of and we have what h hcl those elements i mentioned that they, they talk about the delta positive end and also what delta negative end, which is what the dipole moment of positive and dipole moment of negative that i mentioned nitrogen oxygen sulfur chlorine is what is there also because chlorine and fluorine they are all those elements in which hydrogen can easily attract itself to because one thing we should know about hydrogen is that it has what one or a single electron that need a strong energy and that energy are for are those what electronegative elements so back to this now we have h of nh3 ch4 and what hcl among all these we want to look at those that element that has the highest electronegative value again we have to look at the element that has the highest electronegative value according according to Pauline exclusion so now HCl the value is between three points and is around two points but fluorine is the only elements in the electronegative series that i that has what the highest value again fluorine is the only element in the electronegative series that has the highest electronegative value go back to this now so guys and back to the question which in which of the following compound will the molecules be held together by the strongest hydrogen bond so the answer is what eight of hydrogen fluoride because fluorine has the highest electronegative value in the what in the electronegative series so our answer is a is that clear now so guys the second question states which of the following decreases from left to right across a period but increases down the group in the periodic table first and foremost look at this table 
so take note of this table so from this table I'm going to pick our answer so we have this said across the period across the group are you with me now so the property I'll call this one let's call this one periodic trend call it periodic trend Wait. so we have it to be what periodic trend so the first one we have ionization we have <coughs> electron affinity we have electronegativity We have atomic, so we have atomic radius, we have ionic radius, we have metallic character. So, guys, look at this. These are the periodic trends. I wish me now. We have the first one, which is what ionization energy. Electron affinity. If I jump by it, this particular question, you need to pay Mark's attention to it because I'll be showing you guys how the periodic trend increases across the period and decreases across the what the group. So the, this one we have, we have increases, increases, increases. We have decreases. Here also we also have decreases. Here we also have what? Decrease. So here we have decreases across the group. Please take note of this. Because this particular question you can also come across it in. So we have increases. increases increases so now let's go back to the what we have on the board it said which of the following decreases from left to right across the period but decreases but increases down the group in the periodic table ionization energy increases across the period but decreases down the group from left to right electron affinity increases across the group but decreases down the group electronegativity which is a c increases across the period but decreases down the group but the last option states atomic radius decreases from left to right in the periodic table across the period sorry but increases down the group in the periodic table the most reason i show you guys all this is because if jam did not use atomic radius for these decreases from left to right across the period jam can choose to make his of ionic radius or they choose to make his of what metallic character so in case you come across metallic character or you come across electro positivity please and please you can go with what the options so guys our answer is what atomic radius because it decreases from left to right across the period but increases down the group in the periodic table so guys you can see the table show the illustration of the periodic trend how they increases across the period as well as how they decreases down the group so guys this video is for you if you are a jam out there and are having issues with how to identify the increase 
or decrease in the periodic trend. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share.